Hi, my name is Andrea Georgiou, and I'm an associate professor at Middle Tennessee State University in the Aerospace Department. And I want to talk to you about research that I um, conducted with two of my colleagues in the psychology department, Dr. Little Page and Dr. Hine. And the title of our research is Contextual Factors Affecting Teamwork in Aviation. Teamwork is a complicated um, topic and concept to research because there are so many internal and external factors that affect if a team is effective, um, if they have effective communication, effective coordination, and if they have effective decision making throughout whatever um, events occur throughout their team environment. It's important to study teamwork, uh, particularly in multi-team high-risk critical industries like aviation, because we know how important it is for safety to work as an effective team. We've got teams with air traffic controllers and dispatchers and pilots and mechanics and airport operations, flight attendants and more. And all of these teams work um, with other teams as well. So it's a multi-team environment and it's very complex. And so the two areas that I'm gonna discuss with you are how technology and culture play a role in teamwork. So for technology and teams, technological advances are generally highly reliable in the aircraft and in aviation operations. And um, it can lessen the cognitive workload. So generally speaking, these are very positive outcomes from technological advances. However, there is um, most of the technology has been developed based on individual performance, and it hasn't been developed based on how that technology would affect the team as a whole. And for example, sometimes technology can give false alarms um, or sometimes they don't take in certain factors into account into certain computer programs, like perhaps they don't take into account wind or other variables like that. And this can lead to sometimes we overestimate our reliability of technology. And then sometimes we also underestimate the reliability of technology. And this can lead to a few um, outcomes. One, someone may discount accurate information altogether and ignore a warning or an indication because they no longer trust that that system is providing accurate information, or they might discount information from other sources. Communication and technology is another area I want to talk to you guys about, and there's um, voice communications, like, uh, for example, communicating over the radios in the aircraft, as well as text-based or data digital-based communication. And the prime example would be ACARS, which works through um, in the aircraft. There's digital data link that sends uh, messages can be received in the aircraft, as well as the aircraft can send messages down to operation. Well, one great advantage of this is that, that that digital data can be stored for future reference. So there's not, if you missed some information, the pilots can just look down at the ACARS and see what information that they needed. Um, there is a different pattern. Research shows there's different patterns of communications with ACARS, and it does lack the richness of voice communication. There's also a greater communication lag with digital data communications. And there has been some concern over situational awareness by utilizing that, that type of communication. Uh, with voice communications, when something is spoken over the radio or a message is received, for example, in the cockpit, let's say the captain speaking over the radio, the first officer hears that. So they share that awareness and share that information where someone could look down at text-based communication and the other flight crew, crew member, for example, maybe didn't see that. Um, other research shows that there's only a small difference between voice and text communication in regards to um, if there is a single display open, then there was a small performance difference. But if there are multiple windows open, then that difference became greater and performance did degrade at a quicker rate than if they had utilized commu voice communications. All right, let's talk about monitoring automated systems. So technology, like I said earlier, does reduce the workload, um, whether it's for dispatch, ATC, pilots, et cetera. But one has to be diligent on how they monitor these technologies, these technological systems, 
and we're just human. So we're going to make mistakes. Human factors always plays a role in it. So it's difficult to consistently maintain adequate monitoring, to cross check the instruments, to make sure that the information that they are receiving is accurate. In regards to how much, how accurate or how difficult this can be, uh, research by Sarter et al. in 2007 used eye tracking data and determined that pilots monitored basic flight indications like the altitude and their airspeed indicator, but they often failed to monitor information related to automated flight modes. This is probably because of just the comfort that they had in that automation. And in addition, they sometimes failed to understand the meaning or significance of enunciations from automated systems. So uh, what are the emerging tech issues with technology and automation? With new technology such as Next Generation Initiative that will be implemented shortly, there is a vast modernization of aviation occurring in both the United States and Europe, which will result in technological advances with navigation and communication systems. And there's great potential for improvements, but anytime we have new technology introduced into aviation, there's also potential threats. And this, these potential threats could be to team processes. So it's just gonna be important that we research um, how these advances affect teamwork and how we can utilize them in the most efficient way possible. Switching gears to how culture affects teamwork are the different cultural influences. There are often, um, these cultural influences are often hard to notice or unrecognized influences, but they do exist and they can be on a number of levels. They can be on the professional, organizational and national levels. And just like technology, there are both positives, positives and negatives that can affect um, operations. National culture had a greater influence than professional culture in the cockpit. This especially was found during high workload and stress times that cultural difference, differences negatively um, affected team performance. And since we operate in aviation and are very much in an international atmosphere, this is important that we um, take these cultural influences into account. Some cultural influences that may play a role um, is inadequate English language proficiency, um, power distance, for example, the difference between um, a captain and perhaps a first officer. There are gender role differences. There's individualism and collectivism, collectivism, excuse me, and uncertainty avoidance. And in regards to organizational culture, you often hear a lot of times about what is a safety culture of an airline, for example, and this is what we're talking about, the organizational culture. Accidents rates um, vary across different air carriers, and these differences can be attributed to the organizational safety culture. So this is very important. Uh, research here done in 1996 discovered that an organization's culture can affect the professional culture, so they can be correlated. It said that here that positive organizational climate was correlated with more positive crew resource management attitudes and behaviors. And even just the perception of a negative organizational culture, that, that the perception is that the company or the air care does not support positive crew resource management and positive attitudes was actually correlated with a more negative professional culture. Um, continuing on with that, Mijos in 2004 found that with increasing experience, captains actually became more individualistic and focus more on the individual needs and less on team cooperation. And pilot perceptions of higher captain dominance paired with that higher individualistic tendencies really resulted in some negative outcomes with the first officers feeling less encouraged, conflict tolerance and reward. And these negative effects you can imagine would definitely create an atmosphere that communication would not thrive in. It, it would, could create an unsafe environment. A positive professional pilot culture consists of professional pride, motivation, and which would result in a higher probability of safe flights. 
And then the opposite holds true if there is a negative professional culture, it can actually increase the chances of an accident. Some negative attributes to this are associated with unrealistic pilot perceptions of vulnerabilities, disregard for approved safety procedures, and even a disregard for teamwork. And then there's been some very specific research in regards to the pilot and flight attendant relationships and those cultural barriers that can occur um, before and during flight. These cultural barriers can really compromise communication and coordination. Some of those barriers include differences between the roles and responsibilities and something as um, simple as status, well, not simple, but something like status differences, even in the difference in their uniforms right, can create cultural barriers. And then there's actually a physical barrier with the cockpit door being locked and secured that it, it does actually affect that level of comfort for communication, coordination, and other teamwork components. So in conclusion, technological advances provide a vast range of benefits. We all agree that it is wonderful to continue to advance um, different components in our aircraft, ground operations, in our national airspace system. There's great benefits with automation and redundancy and safety, but we do have to be cautious of the potential negative effects, especially because almost all the technologies developed based on individual performance metric. We have to be careful with over-reliance, loss of situational awareness and complacency. Also, there are numbers numerous dimensions of national culture and professional culture that plays a role in teamwork and that can affect all the different levels of teamwork like communication and coordination. And moving forward, um, further review of teamwork or, or a review of the teamwork literature suggests that there is a need for more research, both quantitative and qualitative, as we move forward with these new advances with next generation initiative and that these two major external factors, technology and culture are taken into account when that research is conducted. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, here are my references. And then this is my contact information. And thank you so much for listening to this presentation. <laughs>